Well, g'day curd nerds. Today we're making a vegan cream cheese. So this cheese is made from uh, cashews. So it's not technically cheese, it's more like a nut spread. However, I've had uh, quite a few requests from uh, viewers on the channel who would like me to make a vegan style cheese. And this indeed is one. Um, no animals were harmed in the making of this cheese. Uh, so uh, let's get on and see how we made vegan cream cheese. So I'm using the Mad Millie vegan cheese kit to make this cheese. So first of all, we need to get some raw cashews. So pour one cup of raw cashews into a bowl. So make sure they're not salted or roasted. They have to be raw for this to work. There they are. What a lovely looking cashews. I'll try not to eat them. Okay, then we're going to fill the bowl with just enough water to cover the cashews. This just makes the cashews softer and easier to blend. So we're going to cover that. I just covered it with a tea towel and soak it overnight. So the next day, take your cashew nuts and drain them and then rinse them with water. I just used a simple sieve to do that and you can do that over at the sink area. Okay, once they're drained, I'm going to pop them straight into the food processor. Now we're going to add our other ingredients. First of all, add half a teaspoon of salt. And then we're going to add a quarter of a teaspoon of citric acid. This just adds a little bit of a tang to the um, the vegan cream cheese. So to give a more savoury sort of flavour we're going to add half a teaspoon of yeast flakes. These taste a little bit like Vegemite. <laughs> when I tried them off camera. There we go, just sprinkle over the top of the, uh, the nuts. Okay, we've got most of our ingredients in now. Now I'm going to put the lid on the food processor and just give them a quick whiz. So I'm going to blend until the mixture is smooth and has a uniform consistency. Um, however, before I do that, never blend with the lid of the, uh, the food processor. Now we're going to add um, half a cup of water, 125 milliliters, to make the paste smooth. So just keep adding that and blending. Just going to add the last of the water. Could have added it all in at the front, I suppose. So just scraping the sides down with a spatula there. Um, so that we get an even consistency. Now it's quite runny once you um, you blend it all. But that's what it's supposed to be like. Not runny as you could pour it, but... So just keep scraping the sides down. And keep blending until it's very smooth. Okay, so it looks pretty smooth to me. Just going to remove that from the food processor. Move that out the way. And if 
before I get too excited. I've forgotten something. I need a damp cheesecloth and a bowl. So just line the little bowl with your cheesecloth there. And then go grab a spoon and just spoon the mixture into the cheesecloth. Just use a spatula to scrape all the rest out. Make sure you get all that cashewy goodness into your cheesecloth. Okay, all good. Right so grab the opposite corners of the cheesecloth and tie it up into a bag or form a bag with it. Just using a simple granny knot there. Okay, instead of holding it for 12 hours, just using a piece of cord there. And I'm going to hang it off one of the knobs in the cupboards that are above our kitchen bench. Something nice and simple. However you want to drain it, that's what you need to do for uh, drain it overnight. Anyway, back to Gav. So there you have it, fairly simple. You know, crush your nuts and then uh, hang them in a bag. So <laughs> let them drain and then you got a very nice cream cheese. Now make sure you drain the cheese um, like I did, hang it in a, um, a piece of uh, cheesecloth or butter muslin and that will help um, make sure that the cheese is firm uh, at the end of the process. Now let's see what it tastes like. Uh, I've got the slab here and uh, I've got some uh, some crackers. Now it's very spreadable um, being a cream cheese or a, more of a nut spread if anything like that um, and I'll see if I salted it correctly. Hmm. Very nice, very pleasant. It's not very, um, it's not gritty. It's smooth, which is good. A little bit of a sour tang to it. That's probably the citric acid will be added to it. But, um, very nice. Doesn't compare with normal cream cheese made with cow's milk, of course, or sherv made from goat's milk. It's got a unique taste. Very nice. Anyway, let's have some more of this. That is a very nice little nut spread. I'm glad that uh, people asked for this. Um, I will be trying to make some more nut based cheeses um, later on, um, but uh, there are so many dairy type cheeses to make yet, so uh, we'll get there. Anyway, you can get the kit. We've got a vegan cheese making kit over at littlegreenworkshops.com.au, so go and check that out. And uh, don't forget that you can support the channel either via YouTube memberships or Patreon. The links are in the description below. Thanks for watching, Curd Nerds, and I'll see you next time.